Hello, my name is Chris Richards. It's six o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep, so welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Hotel Dusk on the Nintendo DS. It was a Christmas present from the missus. Um, never heard of it, never played it before, don't know anything about it. So uh, let's pop it in the old DS and uh, see if it's any good or not. We are not going to be able to see that. Yeah, that's just too close. Ooh, just about. Ha -ha, I'm not going to focus on that. It's too wobbly. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hell, that does. 205. Let's pop it in to the DS and see what's what, shall we? Um, one DS. Out comes mystery stories. Um, one of the it was entertaining for a while, but it's got one of the worst plot lines I've ever come across. It wasn't really great. Uh, Hotel Dusk 215, in you go, and flip, and open, and try not to knock my coffee over, and let's switch on and go. Do do do. Bear with. Uh. Put mystery stories on the side. As you can tell, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, probably the reason why I can't sleep. Okay. Hotel Dusk. Room 215. On the DS. I'm thinking if I turn the lights off, you might be able to see that better. Uh, yes. I'm going to make the room darker. Give me a second. You know, that might have worked. Let's see how it goes. Hotel Dusk, room 215. Nintendo DS. I have a coffee here. Oh, oh, it's... That way. Didn't expect that. It really is. Um. Whoa. I sort of want to flip that. Because I'm left-handed. <laughs> So I prefer to have it that way around, but doesn't seem possible as of yet. So this is going to be weird for me. How weird? Bong. I should have left the lights on. <laughs> Tell you what, this is happening so quick, I have no clue what's happening. This is possibly the worst footage I've ever recorded. I can't get it to focus. I can't keep up with the storyline either. What the hell? There we go. Right. Okay, it's only taking me four minutes to get it right. In fairness, I, I didn't expect us to flip the DS onto its side. Didn't expect that at all.
and now I know for the future never to turn the uh, main lights off. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't tell you what's going on in this storyline because it, it's, it's just so rapid. I get it, it's telling a story, but touch, street, touch screen to continue would go down quite well, you know? But... That's bloody loud as well. Hold on, sorry. Oh, bloody hell. Now all of a sudden we've got some touchscreen to continue stuff. <laughs> After all of that. Okay. Ah, oh, no way. Um, I, the stylus here, trying to touch a screen. Now it's letting me have some sort of control. Been three years since I quit the force and left New York. So uh, I want to get that writing better, but I'm afraid to refocus. There we go. So I have to press A to continue, which is up here, it's at the top of the screen. And uh, now I'm a salesman for this outfit called the Red Crown. It's annoying that I can't flip the screen. Like I said, I'm left handed. So, for me, it would be better to have it the other way around. It sucks that I, weren't, I wasn't actually given the choice to do that. Because it will be the same thing, just sort of... I'll be holding the bulk of the DS in my left hand. And using the stylus with my right, not the other way around. Oh well. On the surface, Red Crown's a door-to-door -door sales firm dealing in household goods. It's now letting me read slowly after flying through that intro. I have no idea what's going on. I just heard gunshots and I, I, I couldn't keep up with it. The boss himself has a little business on the side. He finds things that don't always want to be found, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry, my cold is really, really bad today. Time to time I lend a hand. Once the gameplay actually starts, I will shut up. I will shut up and just concentrate on the gameplay. Ain't the greatest gig in town, but hell, I've got nowhere to be. And nothing better to do. You hear me, Bradley? This is it. This is what I'll be doing until I find you. Bit of coffee. Is it waiting for me? I think it's waiting for me. I'll poke the door. Poke. 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 Yeah. Okay, I had to rub the door. Chapter one. Twenty eighth of December nineteen seventy nine at five o'clock. Ugh. Okay. Great. <sighs> I'm annoying. So, I have to press, well, I have to open the door with a stylus. But I've got to press A to continue the talk. Which means... I 
can't really show you with the camera. But that means I'm, I'm holding the DS in such a weird fashion. Because I won't change the screen. But I'm doing that. So I'm holding, you can imagine I'm holding it like that. Yeah. With my hand here. And then I've got to do this. I'll give you some more brightness you can see. So I'm holding the DS like that in my hand. And I've got to reach my left hand over the top in order to press A to continue. Because I'm trying to use, try to use the stylus. Okay. I can poke the arrow. Right, I can poke the arrow. So I'll do that. I will poke the arrow. So, refocus. Somehow. Sorry, it's probably the worst video I've ever made. An empty lobby with no one home. Arrow. Arrow. Where's the front desk in this dump? Ugh. I'm going to put my coffee behind the DS for fear of the DS falling over. Cute sign, pal. Guess that's where I check in. Is Ed's package here yet? Ah, <sighs> bad. There's no sort of... I have no idea what's going on, I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't, got, I haven't got the foggiest. Um... Oh. oh, that is truly horrible. That, that, that. Can I use a D-pad? I bloody hope so. I can. But it's down there. That's... Oh, this is awkward as hell. Hello counter. Now I've got some symbols. Search. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to continue with this game. This was a Christmas was a Christmas present from the missus, so <laughs> I won't let her watch this video, but I've got a suitcase key and a pager. And my notebook says whatever I wanted to say, which is clever. Um, hi. <laughs> Help me. Um, okay, so I can take my own notes. That's a nice touch. Uh, like a hidden object game, I can poke. I can poke the screen, so I'll poke the dossier. It's a clipboard. That settles it. There's got to be somewhere around here. TV. An older model with a pair of rabbit ears. Classy. Try turning on. Power switch in a channel selector. The same as on any... Is this thing broken? What a wonderful hotel. What a crap game this is. <laughs> um... Can I... I wonder if there's a way of me sort of... This is, is really uncomfortable. This is very uncomfortable. I'm going to sort of... It's going to make things a bit worse, possibly. But I'm going to move that over there. Alright. 
just so I can sit a wee bit more comfortably. Doesn't feel like it's sort of worth my time. <laughs> Um, TV broken. TV broken. There we go. <laughs> okay, can turn the angle. It's a calendar. I can create track of how long I've been standing here. Comical. Telephone! Am I supposed to call someone to help me? No? How about ringing the bell? Guess that means I did something. Maybe this dump isn't deserted after all. He's a nasty git, isn't he? Someone's business he's talking about. Rosa, hey Rosa, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Don't go bothering me when I'm watching a game. What the hell? You ain't Rosa. Poke him. What a charming welcome. Did you call me Rosa? Uh, what a charming welcome seems a bit um, up your own ass. So, did you call me Rosa? Who's Rosa? That's not what I said. She's a hotel maid. Hard worker. But she's got a mouth on her the size of Nebraska. Always finding ways to bust my chops when I'm watching a game. Anyway, sorry for thinking you was her. No hard feelings, right? There we go. Name's Dunning Smith. And I own this joint. Right. Welcome to my own little slice of heaven. Hotel Dusk. Dunning Smith. Seems like a grumpy old guy with a big mouth. This Kyle Numpty might apparently who I'm supposed to be. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He's a bit of a... Well, he called the place a dump. He's calling this guy an old guy with a big mouth on him, considering he's just met Mr. Dunning. You know, I don't like him at all. So, you here for a room? Or just to hear me jaw? A room. One night. What kind of room do you want? Cheap one. Yeah, that's everybody's answer, let's be honest. You want to save a bit of money? Just the room for you. I'd give him the bloody broom cupboard. Let me bend your ear for a second. How would you like to stay in something a little nicer? You're telling me you have nice rooms in this hotel? I really don't like Kyle. He is a complete... Numpty. You bet your life. You're in sales, right? Door to door, on your feet all day. Something like that. So you haul your case around all day, and no one's biting but the dogs. So what do you say, why not give yourself a little treat for once? One night in a nice room will make a new man out of you. Now it just so happens that tonight I've got a top class sleep free. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Mr. Dunning has decided he doesn't like Kyle, so he's going to throw Kyle literally to the dogs. 
to be fair, is what I do, because Kyle's a bit of an arse. Because I'm feeling generous, I'll let you have it for a special price. Sweet sounds nice, sweets ain't for me. Oh, let's be nice. Sounds nice. All right. Give me the sweet, please. Really? How much? Yeah, it'll normally cost you 350. I'll let you have it for a flat 300. <laughs> Three hundred dollars. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's that's a hell of a lot for one night. It's a fair price. I'm telling you, that room's worth every cent. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. I ain't made of money. Just window shopping, eh? Waste of time for both of us. Well, if I can get you to fill out this registration card, the room is all yours. Pen for you. Nice pen too. Don't go stealing it. you got to fill this in okay <laughs> this game might be interesting I suppose I'm just moving a bit because I'm going to grab my coffee Your name really Carl Hyde. Now that's what my parents told me. He knows something. Two one five. It's got the room number and the word wish engraved on it. What's that supposed to mean? The name of the room. The room has a name. Sure does. Every room in this hotel has its own name. We got Wish, Bravery, Daybreak, Success, even Angel. Cute. You think those up yourself? Sure did. Great names, ain't they? Bless him. Wish is my favourite of the bunch, though. Seems kind of pointless to me. I really don't like Kyle. You are an empty. Pointless. Yeah, he's he's really um <sighs> offensive. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I'd be quite happy if Dunning was our main character, and Kyle was the bad guy. Rooms need numbers. That's it. Because I would never say the sort of crap that he's coming out with. Never. Naming a room is a waste of time. Just, just don't like him at all. He deserves everything that comes to him. Ain't no one ever said that before. Probably because no one's as nasty as Kyle. They just didn't have the guts to tell you what they really thought. You're supposed to relate to your character. 
in all video games. You're supposed to relate to them in some way. So far, I think Kyle is a dick, quite frankly. And I don't like the idea that I have to help him to do whatever we have to do in this game. Because he's, he's an asshole. I don't like him at all. That's really, really, really bad writing, I'd say, to be fair. Uh, whoever wrote this storyline. Why make us hate Kyle so much? Unless that's the point. Maybe we're meant to dislike him. Some guests like their room to have a name. I quite like the idea of my... But I use a hotel quite regularly. I quite like the idea of a, a room having a name. I think it'd be kind of cool. It'd be easier to remember where it is. Come home drunk while well, come back to the hotel drunk one night. Uh, where's uh, where's Saint? What Which room's Saint? They know exactly what you're talking about. Just, no. Don't like him at all. But now I know you're a man who don't like to waste time on silly stuff. Saves me from wasting breath on my story. Yeah. I want... I'd like to hear your story. What story did you mean? Nothing. Don't want to waste your valuable time. See, his story might have been interesting. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. Concerns room 215. The room where you're going to be staying. It's got a history. Or how'd you put it, history? History. Like ghosts. You're telling me it's haunted. <laughs> nah, this is way better than some spook with chains. You got dreams, pal? Something you wish for? I'm not really the wishing kind. That doesn't surprise me, but still. If you got something you want, I mean really want, you just may find it tonight, you follow? That's the story. That's room 215. Where wishes are granted. Don't fob him off, okay? It's a place where wishes are granted. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm helping you. But go ahead and take this. It's a hotel brochure. You got a map in there too. I like the pencil artwork. That's cool. I mean, Kyle does look pretty cool. He's sort of a... Uh... Yeah. Alright, you're all checked in. Head on up to the first floor. It's through the lobby up the stairs. Room 215 is down the hall on the left. Restaurants through the lobby into the left. Opens for dinner at 6 and breakfast at 7.30. Got a bar too. Opens at 9. Checkouts at 10. Miss it and you're going to have to charge a double. Of course, if you want to stay another night, just let me know. Need anything else? Fill me in on this whole wish granting thing. Okay. Ugh. I'll be honest, I'm getting a bit tired now. Uh, not tired, but. This is going to go off quite some time. A uh, story I heard from the Fox Estate 215. First, there was a young girl, then a middle aged fella. Both of them looked beat down when they arrived, like they had no future, but by next morning, they looked like new people, so peaceful and content. I was kind of taken aback by the transformation, so I asked them what happened. They both told me the same thing. Room 215 is magic, it granted my wish. So that's why I said, 
Kyle was being a numpty again. What's so funny? Good one, Pops, real nice. I didn't think an old-timer like you would tell me fairy tales. I really don't like Kyle. I really hate him. It's actually putting me off playing the game. This could be a good game, but Kyle is an ass. Waste of your valuable time, is that it? Call it a fairy tale if you want. It's a free country. <laughs> I'm not going to ask him about a package yet. I'm going to disappear. That's it? Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Let me just walk around a little bit before I... Okay, so it... It can be done on the D-pad. We seem to have a... Okay, so when a symbol flashes up... You can have a look at something that's in the area. Okay. Oh, hell. Forgot to check with the front desk to see if Ed's package arrived. Okay. So it's a talky talky, explorative, look around, try and find things sort of game. Um, I'm going to stop the video here uh, purely because uh, pointing it at my DS is uh, starting to hurt my back. Um, I thought I'd do a video at six o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> yeah, it's not working out. So if you'd like me to do more on this game, then let me know. Until then, um, I think I will make a follow-up video once I've got a bit further into the game. I think I might enjoy it. I just really don't like Kyle. So thank you everyone so much for joining me. Uh, I look forward to the next video that we make. Well, like I said, I will, I, I will, I will do more. I'll get, I'm going to progress a bit on this game, so I know more about it because I am going to continue to play it as much as Kyle annoys me, and I shall make a part two definitely. Um, once the game sort of gets into it a bit. So thanks for joining me. Take care, my friends. I will get myself into a more comfortable position next time. Um, and we will uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.